Hello everyone and welcome back to MixBest TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and in this video I want to talk about the importance of collaboration and teamwork in music productions and how that is sometimes overlooked and underrated by musicians and quote, I do it all by myself, home studio guys. I'm in a very lucky position. I get to work with great producers and great artists most of the time and I'm grateful for it. As I always say, a mix engineer is only as good as the material he gets to work on. And every time I get to work with good producers and artists with great material, I see what a massive difference it makes in the final product. When the artists got talent, when they can deliver great performances, when the producer has a clear direction for the track, and when such producer leaves the mix engineer freedom, to interpret the song with his mixing. In this environment, as a mix engineer, you not only are able to realize the ideas the producer and the artist had input, but enhance them and finalize them. In two words, teamwork. Not only teamwork, but also specificity of tasks. Everyone does his job without trying to step on the next guy's foot. Everyone trusts the next guy to be able to do his job and do it well. And everyone is open-minded. Sure, there's criticism and different points of view, but everybody's mindset is we are a great team and everyone knows his shit. And what I saw for the past decade is the best, most successful productions happen when there is this kind of environment. A group of talented people, each one bringing their best to the table, adding something good to the project. Yes, everyone is confident of what they do, but we all keep an open mind and listen to suggestions coming from everyone involved in the production. Some suggestions get bumped and some other get well received. And that's how the best production I've been involved in work. That's the environment I've been able to come up with some of my best mixes. I say this because this is completely opposed to today's trend of I do it all by myself at home alone with my laptop. Spraying and praying and then sending the end result to an automated mastering process and hoping for the best. Only to end up extremely unhappy and frustrated with the result when compared with real productions and real mixes and not understanding why. And you will say, but such and such artist recorded in his hotel room with an iPhone and got number one. Yeah, there are exceptions to the rule. And those exceptions make a lot of noise because they are exceptions. But I feel the biggest mistake one can do is to look at those exceptions and think they are the rule. Sure, there are a handful of artists who did it all by themselves, but they are not the norm. Maybe they have a unique talent, maybe they have the right connection, maybe they were at the right place at the right time, and maybe it's not true that they did it all by themselves. It's just how they sell you the story because people can relate to that kind of story. Like, he came out from nowhere and made it big. And so you think, hey, if he did it, I can too. But if you pay attention, usually those stories are followed by a couple of advertisements. Either buy this product because that's what the artist used, or sign up for this service because that's how he did it. <laughs> right? But even if few artists made it that way, that's a very rare chain of events. Chances you will be able to do the same the same way are slim to none. I've witnessed few myself and I can tell you, yes, there was talent involved, but there was also a hell of a lot of luck. And if luck is your best chance to be successful, then you're better off buying a lottery ticket. My point is, don't start your journey in whatever it is that you want to be successful at by thinking you're special and that rules don't apply to you, because most likely you're not special. If you were, you'd be successful already. Thinking you're special and you can do it all by yourself is not helping you, it's detrimental. I'm not special. I'm not doing okay in my career because I'm special. I'm doing okay because I worked my ass off for years. If I thought I was special, I probably wouldn't have worked that hard. I would have sat in my room waiting for things to happen because I was entitled to them. Instead, think you can become special by working hard and better yourself. If you're always doing things alone by yourself, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking, hey, I know I'm good. 
it's just bad luck. And sometimes it is, no doubt. But instead of thinking you're good, you have to know you're good. And that happened when you know you worked hard to achieve the level you're at, whatever that is. You know you put time and effort and practiced and studied. That's the difference between thinking you're special and knowing that you're good. Then good news is if you in fact are special, the hard work is only going to add to the God-given talent. So it's a win-win situation. So as usual, my advice to upcoming artists and engineers is don't believe the hype, but put down the work instead and surround yourself with talented people and artists. If you're going to make it, it's not going to be because you're lucky. It's because you're competent in what you do. It's because you studied. It's because you have experience and you know how to work in a team. Because you know how to listen to the suggestions coming from everyone involved in the project and recognize the good ideas from the bad ones. You know, I've always said that you cannot teach good taste. Either you have it or you don't. And you can't teach talent. But if you do have taste and talent, that's not enough. You have to train. You have to cultivate it. You have to spend time getting better because there are a million other talented people out there. And the difference between the successful ones and the ones who never do anything is how much work they do, how hard they work, and how dedicated they are. How much time they spend and dedicate improving themselves and their skill. And again, I invite you to get out of the mindset of, I can do it all by myself. Because maybe you can, who knows? In rare occasions, if someone has a very clear direction and the skill to realize it exactly as he sees it, that can actually be an asset. But still, everybody needs confrontation and advice. And even if you can come out with a great product by yourself, how do you know you got everything out of it? How do you know you express the full potential? The truth is you don't know. Nobody knows. And that's why I say the best production I've been involved in were those where there was a team working, where everyone had a specific job and they were good at it. There are a lot of factors in our society that more and more keep people home alone in front of their computer or their phone. And unfortunately, marketing takes advantage of this trend and wants you to keep doing it because, well, you guessed, they can sell you products so you can try to do things yourself. But the truth is, in this specific field, you can't buy what you get from a good team of people working in synergy on a music project. You cannot buy that. I recently had an assistant mixing session. Very, very rare things these days. I hadn't had one in years, so it was kind of strange at first to have the producer sitting next to me while I was mixing. But to my surprise, I rediscovered the pleasure of working with a producer that knows how to give you inputs without stepping on your toes, letting you do the work and express yourself with your mixes while giving you direction and most important, instant feedback. Unfortunately, you cannot know the difference between working alone and working as a part of a great team until you do it. And not me nor anyone else can truly explain that. It's like working with hardware compared to plugins. Yes, we can A-B the sound, but you can't describe the completely different type of experience and workflow between the two and how that undoubtedly affected the end result. It's something that is really hard to explain. And I understand those of you who are control freaks and want to supervise and control every step of the process. I am a control freak myself and a Virgo, so I do understand that. But being a control freak is actually a good thing in this profession if you know how to handle it and don't let it become a problem instead. The potential problem being having a closed mind and not listen to anyone around you just because you can't let anything go. That's detrimental. Be confident of your skills and your decisions, but keep an open mind and listen to other talented people. So in conclusion, don't look at those few exceptions, those success stories of someone going from bedroom to stardom, because even if they are true, and usually they aren't, meaning someone else down the line picked up the project and either mixed it or produced it. But even if they are, they are an exception. It's like the lottery. Someone will win, but most likely it ain't you. Instead, hard work and commitment always pays off. And collaboration as opposed to isolation is what, in my experience, take productions to a higher level. 
assuming talented people are involved. But that's a wrap. This is it for this video, guys. I hope it was useful somehow and I hope you liked it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think, what your experience is. And if you like the video, please hit that like button. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to access to exclusive content and stay in touch with us and get all the news about the channel. And very interesting news are coming up. Please keep supporting Mixbus TV by sharing the videos and spreading the word on blogs, forums, social media. Subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time.